In the year 1263, a group of priests became convinced that a miracle had occurred. Their stash of Eucharist bread for Sunday's Mass seemed to turn into blood overnight, which, I mean, as miracles go, is very on brand for Christianity. Now, being the godly folks they were, and living hundreds of years before microscopes existed, they of course thought that this was divine magic. But I can perform the same miracle, no magic powers required. This is a standard Eucharist cracker I bought online. Now, after I cast a little magic spell, we can watch it turn into flesh. Sure enough, over the course of a day, if we time-lapse it, it takes on a red-orange color, and by the end of the second day, if you told me this was blood, I'd be hard-pressed to disagree. So, what just happened? Well, that red color certainly isn't blood. Instead, it's a red pigment known as prodigiosin, produced by a very common bacteria. S. moreskins is found pretty much everywhere, but you've probably seen it before as that red discoloration you find in showers and toilets. It is an incredibly fast-growing microbe and produces a huge amount of red pigment, and has been the culprit behind many instances of food mysteriously taking on a blood-red hue. Thankfully, the priests back in 1263 didn't try and eat it, because while it is a lovely color, it's also an opportunistic pathogen. Which is why you should never lick a shower drain. Well, one of many reasons. <laughs>